David A. Love is the executive editor of BlackCommentator.com. He joins us live from Philadelphia. Good to have you with us. Why, again, in your view, are all 20 nominees white? Well, it's good to be here. It is really uh, disconcerting to see that uh, even though it's 2016, uh, America is still dealing with the same problems of uh, lack of diversity in uh, various institutions. Um, I think the problem really goes to the heart of um, the fact that uh, the motion picture industry, like so many other institutions, uh, is very slow to change. Um, not a very diverse uh, institution. You have a situation where essentially white males uh, are dominating the, uh, the industry. And as a result, uh, you don't see diverse voices, blacks, Latinos, other people, um, being allowed to really express themselves. And I think it's an ongoing problem that, that people should be concerned about. Uh, could it not be the case, perhaps, that many would say that there simply were not any black actors or actors of color who were good enough to make the nominations this year? Because they are there in the film industry. Hmm. Well, certainly, um, there is no guarantee that uh, if someone appears in a movie that, that they should be considered. But when you consider the fact that uh, there were a number of outstanding actors, actresses, directors who were considered for the Golden Globe Awards, mm. Screen Actors Guild Awards, and other awards, the fact that none at all have been considered for the Oscars, uh, it really makes one wonder exactly what is, is going on here. Yeah, and it has been recognized, hasn't it, by the Academy president, president, Cheryl Boone Isaacs, who has said that the Academy is making an effort to change and to change this largely old, white, male constituency of voters. She's got Chris Rock back to host this year. I mean, do you not feel that these efforts are enough? Well, certainly uh, Chris Rock is an outstanding uh, actor and, and comedian, and I think it's a good idea, it's a good thing that they decided to have him host the show, but he is just one person. Mm. And, uh, you know, you can't have symbolism to make up for years of systemic discrimination. Um, unfortunately, there's a lot of hard work that has to be done, and having one or two people in uh, high-profile spots just won't do the trick. Yeah, what I struggle to understand is why race and color is still such a huge issue in America in this day and age. Mm, well, sometimes I wonder myself. <laughs> uh, I think it really speaks to the fact that this country has not come to terms with uh, the, the original sin of slavery and the, all of the inequities and the uh, misperceptions, all of the racism that flowed from that. Uh, African Americans, other people of color still face a wide assortment of challenges. And the country really hasn't come to terms with it. But I think now, because of this burgeoning uh, Black Lives Matter movement, you see people finally beginning to discuss issues of racial inequity, of uh, white skin privilege. And uh, I think that it can only lead to a positive development, but it's going to be a hard process. David A. Love, great to get you on the show. Thanks very much for taking the time to join us.